There's a GNU TLS vulnerability that may allow machine in the middle attacks. Jim, tell us about this new uh, TLS issue that we're seeing. The issue got opened on the 1st of June, and the new TLS folks patched it pretty quick. But it looks like it could be a, a very serious vulnerability. It turns out in their implementation of TLS 1.3, which is the latest version of TLS and which is hopefully the version that you know, folks are using to encrypt their you know, web traffic running on their website and so forth. But the way that the GNU folks implemented it, it turns out that it, one of the features of GNU TLS is the possibility to resume a session. And the, there was a miss, basically a implementation error the way that the GNU guys did it. And it was possible to resume the session without having the master key that was used to generated to initially start the session to begin with. And what this would allow is a machine in the middle attack. If you didn't need the master key to resume the session, then it, it does take a little knowledge of encryption to do it, but it would have been possible for uh, somebody to intercept you know, the traffic and do a, a machine in the middle attack. Um, fortunately, it's been patched and and those patches are out. I, I know that at least on Ubuntu, the, the Ubuntu distribution, those patches came out on the 3rd or the 4th of June. The problem is, you know, if somebody did a used static, it tried to statically compile these libraries in to their application, or if somebody didn't get the message and, and get patched, this vulnerability is there. Now, the vulnerability is actually only in their implementation. It's not, fortunately, it's not a protocol vulnerability. Okay. So, folks using, for example, OpenSSL to implement TLS 1.3 aren't going to be vulnerable to this, but it does it does look like it could be a relatively serious issue uh, for folks that haven't patched that. Uh, not aware of, you know, any active exploitation of it, but it is something to be aware of. Yeah, I'm reading the steps to reproduce from the, the GitLab um, right up of it. This is, yeah, it, it's as bad as it sounds, I guess. Um, dang. Yeah, I, it's, it really, you know, it, it could be scary, especially, you know, if folks aren't automatically patching, you know, like most of the Linux distros are going to push this out. And if you have, you know, a cron job that is doing nightly checks, okay, you're probably okay there. But if you're not doing, you know, quick patching, or as I said, worse yet, if you tried to statically compile this in, um, then you're going to need to update your application, you know, recompile it and send out a new version for that. So the, most of the places that use GNU TLS that I'm aware of are going to use the shared library, you know, from the the Linux distribution, or, and so those hopefully got updated relatively quickly. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of scary. Any a, a machine in the middle attack. Basically, what that means is that somebody can get in right in the middle of your conversation between you and you know your bank's website or whatever, and steal your credentials and then potentially you know loot your bank account or whatever mm -hmm. so um this this could be kind of serious as i said i'm not aware of any exploitation of this vulnerability but 
if you're using GNU TLS, uh, which is, you know, GNU TLS and OpenSSL are, are the two most common implementations of, you know, TLS that you're going to find on Linux machines. So if you're using GNU TLS, make sure you're patched. Yeah, that's good advice, Jim. Um, I think part of the severity of this comes from the fact that, that TLS and new TLS, specifically OpenSSL, you mentioned it, they're relied upon to do these very sensitive things. Um, data that moves through them, you know, it could be things like payment card data, it could be things like social security numbers, it could be, you know, these very, very sensitive things that, you know, we, we wrap them in TLS and we send them off on the internet and, you know, we sit there and we say, please, Please don't break. Please don't become vulnerable because we rely on that. The internet as a whole relies on those protocols so much. So I think that's that plays a big role into the severity of this, and it's important, um, you know, that we understand this, that we see, the, you know, that this vulnerability exists, and that we do exactly as as Mr. Jim Clausen says, update and patch always. Yeah. Well, and you know, over the last couple of years, we've seen more and more websites. That are you know, going HTTPS all the time, great, yeah, you know, wonderful for security. Mm -hmm. But it's you know, how are they how are they implementing the TLS in order to do the HTTPS? Yeah, hopefully you're not using SSL anymore. Hopefully you're using TLS. Hopefully you're using TLS 1.3. Uh, but you know, how is that getting implemented? The underlying libraries there. Encryption is hard to do right. Um, mm -hmm. It's you know it's it's very easy to do wrong. Uh, so whenever I see these things, they they definitely get my attention. Yeah, I agree. And and um, I guess from a I'm no developer, but I, I would assume from from a developer's perspective, it's the sort of thing where you know you've got all these different dependencies that you're using to build your application. And it just sort of seems like TLS, once you implement it, you're good. I did it, you know, like I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna check that box off and I'm gonna focus and worry about other things, uh, if, if at all. And TLS just sort of, you just sort of assume that it's working and it's good. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe it's a little intimidating because it is encryption, and, you know, it's, there's not a lot of people out there who are encryption experts. I'm certainly not an encryption expert, so. You know, it is sort of that sort of that that game where it's like, well, you know, I implemented it, and I don't, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to, I don't want to ever break it because you know that's how my site makes money or something. So there's those concerns that surround it, but it's it's still incredibly important to make sure that it's up to date, uh, especially when we have a vulnerability like this sitting out in the wild.